A bizarre chain of events has unfolded here and left two people dead and a community shaken. I'm Philip Chase, live at the scene. And here with us we have Mr. Jay Brown and he witnessed the whole thing. Mr. Brown, tell us what you saw. Well, I arrived home from work and when I got out of my vehicle, uh, I heard a commotion going on behind Mr. Cheney's house. And uh, I walked over to see what was going on. And as I was headed over there, the police pulled up and uh, we went around back of the house and what happened, what was happening was this bizarre. Uh, I'd never seen anything like it before, but Mr. Cheney, he was just laying there on the, on the ground on his stomach like that. And uh, this guy was on his back just tearing him to pieces. It was horrific. And uh, the policeman yelled for the guy to stop and he just ignored him, so they had to do what they had to do. You know, they they shot him and they had to shoot him repeatedly. It was it was just a bizarre event, and uh, it's I'm I'm shook shook up pretty good over it, and I just don't know what to think about it. Now, do you think maybe this individual was on some kind of drug, or I mean, did it seem like he was not being affected by the shots? At the at first the they were shooting him in the torso and it wasn't doing any good and they finally shot him in the head and that's the only thing that stopped him. Mm. Very strange indeed folks and like I said this is Philip Chase from Channel 7 News and stay tuned for more updates on this situation as it unfolds and it's quite a story indeed but there you have it you've heard it live and stay tuned for more.